Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review two books uh, which I already recommended on like text review but I'm going to provide the video review today so that you can look inside the books and can decide do you want to buy or not buy them. So uh, I plan to review one fiction book and one non-fiction book. So fiction one I'm going to review this favorite of ours. We are going on a bear hunt and the non-fiction is my personal favorite insiders alive earthquakes and volcanoes so i'll both kids um, i mean like both the books are well loved so i'll tell you the stories our stories behind them and what we love about them and everything so first uh, let's start with the fiction one we are going on a bear hunt it's by michael rosson and it's a bestseller book it's a very very world famous book and uh, we have attended activities uh, day to it organized by another mother where we did crafts we did music we did dancing around it because this entire book has nothing major storyline in it but it has rhythm it has rhyming and this is something which really works very well with the kids around um four to five year old my kids are not attended during that five to six weeks in activities but it is still loved because and when it comes to reading like my younger one who's just picking reading the words are so repetitive that she loves to read it. It's musical and she knows its rhythm. She knows it's repetitive. She knows it's rhyming. So she can make out more of the words. And words are again repeating. So, you know, it works if you're learning to read. It works if you're reading to the kids because it's musical. So I'll just read a few of them and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. So, okay, let's start with the story. Storyline is just a family where there's mama, papa, a baby and a boy and a girl. And they're going for a bear hunt. So they go through forests, they go through jungles, they go through rivers, and then they go to a cave where they find the bear and they get very scared and they come back home. There's nothing major in the story, but you should listen to it how they how the they have expressed the simple story in such a beautiful words. So we sing it, okay? So just bear with my singing capacity. But it's fun only if you sing it. Reading is not fun, okay? We are going on a bear hunt. We are going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Oh, oh. Grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We have to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. So like this, when you go through a grass, it makes a sound of swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And you do with expressions and the kids will follow you like that. Then they go, same loop, they're repeating again. We are going on a bear hunt. We are going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We are not scared. Oh, oh, a river. A deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. Splash, 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 splash. Oh, oh. So like that, they go. And then they go through uh, mud, which is oozy mud, which is scratch and scratch. And then they go through jungle where they stumble and trip. And then they go through a snowstorm. They're like, like that they go through a snowstorm which is very very cold you know and then they go to a cave where they go tip toe tip toe tip toe what's that <gasps> one shiny wet nose two big furry ears and two big googly eyes <gasps> it's a bear quick back through the cave Snowstorm. Back to the forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back to the mud. Squelch, 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 squelch. Back to the river. Splash, 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 splash. Back to the grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. <gasps> Go to the front door. Open the door. Up the stairs. Oh no! We forgot to shut the door. <gasps> Back downstairs, everybody. Shut the door. Into the bedroom, into the bed, under the covers. Shh. We are not going for the bed hunt again. So 
that's how the book is about so imagine so when the class we attended it was a co-op we did all these actions like if there's a grass we'll walk like pretend like we are walking through the grass if there's a mud we'd be like lifting our feet like e there's a mud below square square squash like that so imagine what fun your child will have when you do these actions inside your house pretending everything so every every child should have this book this is a you can see recommendations also in the youtube or anywhere else this is beautiful book you should get it okay so now the second book um uh, which is a non fiction book uh, this earthquakes and volcanoes is inside us alive uh i got it from a thrift store but it's expensive near about i think 1000 rupees above it is like that fun huh? but uh i i'll just show you why i love this one and we read i read this it's, if you see this is not a child friendly book in a reading the alphabets are very very small a child would not read it but you know what child will do i'll show you like this is a child will see this is a earthquake so there is volcano this is earthquake they show and rest is all movement based they are flaps but that the child cannot read himself because the alphabets are very very small and it's a very technical book so what we did like we were doing the earth structure so how do i use it in like we have a magic school bus which is about solar system because going under the earth very level 2 level 2 book very very basic book of magic school bus and my kids were reading it so we do it like you read a book and i ask some questions through it just to understand did you get the topic or not and when i was talking to my child about volcano what happens so it one thing leads to another another thing led to another and then i picked up this book and then i showed them each thing like see this is how it happens and the details you see this you can pull this one then they will ask then it came to with volcanoes what happens why do you get springs how do you get earthquakes why do volcanoes happen and when the lava come what kind of rocks do we get so uh, and then we read about the magic school bus one showed different kind of rocks which are formed because of the different kind of eruptions that happen but magic school bus did not cover any colorful or any detail of these uh you know those kind of uh, mountains they make but if you see this one it covers everything like if lava goes from here what happens if lava goes from here what happens if lava goes from here what happens then here it there was this lava bomb and then when the type of volcanoes happened what kind of this so see this is a fissure kind of thing there is so whatever was gi not given in much detail not in much colorful form in the magic school bus book was detail in very much then it came to uh you know what kind of volcanoes are there then what are hot water springs this book covers all of them like what are geysers it shows like you know how the heat happens where the and we have visited geysers in india himachal has some geysers so we were we showed them the photos you know when you were little we went there and then uh this thing that when uh, how the fossils were formed it covers that also that how sedimentary rocks are formed and how things get buried because of this and uh so this was amazing when we read volcanoes then we came to earthquakes because related to that that you know how, what is the earth movement what is the seismic quake movement we watched some videos of tsunami also that you know this kind of things happen and like my touch wood my kids have never seen an earthquake singapore doesn't have but i was telling you know in nani house in dadashi house they are earthquake prone areas so they this happened like they could not imagine what happens and then they were like if earthquake happen and things break why nani just how does not break and so this also covers the structures like chinese uh, how they build the buildings and how their structures are very much uh, earthquake prone and then i talked about like uh, my uh, brother is a structural engineer my father is also in the same uh, engineering uh, like civil engineering module how they design the buildings and this one you know everything it is pretty advanced book in a way you someone has to understand how buildings uh, it's still child level but still showing them very much visually that how you make sure that building is stable enough that it does not break in a earthquake what are the kind of waves then they talks about tsunamis that's what when it came to tsunamis that you know what is stuff it is doesn't feel like big but when it reaches here it becomes very big so that's what we watched the tsunami video so because they had read about it they could match when they saw tsunami happening because uh, we do not uh, do documentaries or like long videos of you know external explaining how tsunami happened that all teaching part happens only through books but you know seeing a wave coming and you know just damaging everything we showed that video 
like I think in Japan it usually happens and then India Chennai that a uh, few years back the tsunami happened we just showed them that video again uh, we are a screen free family so uh, we do not give that much screen time or we do not use screens for teaching that is my main aim is I use books only for teaching for the simple reason that books they can go back to screens they can't be go back to because we have not given them the control so if they have any more doubts about tsunami they can go back to and read to this books and refer to it but how it practically happened that the wave came it was slow it was not visible when people were watching and immediately when it reached near the coast it just burst everything that's how tsunami happens so the same thing which is shown in this picture that the waves were very slow but as soon as it reached the coast it became very fast for that concept i showed them the video but apart from that every teaching happens uh, throughout this one so the famous earthquakes so if you see so even my younger one who does not read who does not understand much scientific path as of now she just gets fascinated about looking at this book and then we did this activity this one uh, shows us uh, the prone the uh, earthquake and volcano prone zones of the world and then uh, we went to the main map the the world map we have and then we checked out the countries which countries and then I was like oh these countries are not safe to live and then I showed her India and her grandparents houses here we live in Himachal and see that is not the point that these are uh, not safe places to live people still live here your grandparents live here you go for holiday there but you need to build the buildings in a way that they are prone to these kind of seismic movements and all those kind of discussions so it is a very fruit uh, you know very comprehensive book to have a discussion uh, for uh, this kind of level where you're not teaching anything you know for me it's more not of teaching it's more and one thing I wanted to show which I which I was myself surprised when I saw in this book was seismology how do you measure earthquakes I, I did not know it this was also covered and there's one more thing which really fascinated me when measuring earthquakes so you can they tell you here what kind of earthquakes what is the level of one two three all the seismic reactor scale so imagine we were just talking about earthquakes and i told about seismology i talked about this uh, the scale how we measure them what kind of instruments do we use so um that's what, it's a keepsake it's not age specific kids cannot read it the words are very small but as a mother who do not uh, know half of the things I don't know half of the things so these books are very very handy for mothers to learn things and to talk about them to your child and because these are like very beautiful one kids do come to you to read these books and listen to these books if mama is reading something from these books so that's why uh, it, it, it is our favorite so that's why I want to talk to you today and hope you enjoyed these books thank you bye bye